A family in Stanton is fighting for their child's life, and they say medical marijuana is the answer. Now that family is joining others across Virginia to battle the legal hurdles involved and hopefully convince lawmakers to change policy in hopes of saving more lives. NBC 29's Alana Austin joins us tonight to introduce us to them. Good evening, Alana. Good evening, Steve, Sharon. These parents live in fear that their children are just one seizure away from cognitive impairment or even death. Now they're trying to break down misconceptions surrounding medical marijuana to prevent a tragedy. Our kids can't wait. We don't know how long Lucy has. Two and a half year old Lucy is affable. <laughs> curious and loves to play and read with her parents Travis and Melissa Roden bye, 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 bye. but in the midst of celebrating new parenthood their little bundle of joy began suffering from convulsions we just want to give her every option every good moment that we can doctors eventually diagnosed Lucy with a rare genetic disorder called Dravet syndrome among children with epilepsy she falls into the one-third of cases that endure uncontrollable seizures sometimes dozens a day <laughs> Lucy takes all kinds of medications but no drug has made much of a difference not to mention troubling side effects like imbalance weight loss psychosis or aggression you've been seeing her hit tonight and that's not like her. One of the associates. <laughs> Thank you. Sure it's not. Yeah. The rodents thought medical marijuana sounded like quackery until they learned of Charlotte's Web, a strain that's low in the ingredients typically associated with a high. Medical marijuana shows great promise in treating those seizures. And we really feel that everybody deserves to have every option available to them especially Lucy, because her seizures are so catastrophic. Hundreds of families like this one have exhausted their options at home and flocked to Colorado to try out medical marijuana in the form of an ointment. The rodents do not advocate smoking the drug or recreational use. We don't want to leave. This is our home. This is where our friends are, our family is. This is where our community is. This is where our doctors are, and we do not want to do this without our doctors. This week, the rodents, along with other families in Virginia, met with policymakers in Richmond pleading their case. She's failed 21 pharmaceutical drugs or combinations of them. Last year, she had over 800 seizures in 208 days. We're actually told there is nothing else for her to try. Lisa Smith's daughter, Haley, also lives with Dravet syndrome. The family's first neurologist was none other than Lieutenant Governor Ralph Northam. After after bringing their cause to him and his aides. I have hope. I feel that there's been people put in our lives at the right time, and this is going to be something that happens. And I think the what we need to do now is just educate, educate the public, educate the legislatures, to let them know that she's not going to be smoking something. The group calls the Collins family medical refugees. Mother Beth and daughter Jennifer have moved to Colorado, leaving father Patrick Collins here in Virginia. After just a few months of experimentation with medical marijuana, she is experiencing increased cognition. She says she can think better. She's scoring better on math tests and um, other tests that she previously could not. Her seizures have been cut in half, but doesn't make sense to us that we can't be together yeah. and have a healthy child. These families will go to the ends of the earth if that's what it takes. I don't think it should have to be this hard, but the truth of it is that it's becoming easier and easier with every step that we take. Now these families say that it is not their goal to fight with lawmakers, but to work with them and the public to increase awareness and eventually pass a bill to make medical marijuana allowed in Virginia for this condition. Alana Austin, live on our Augusta County newsroom tonight.